Well, your tax dollars would pay for the long stalled expansion of I 94 East Wisconsin. Wisconsin's Department of Transportation estimates it's going to cost more than $1.2 billion. One of two public hearings about that is happening right now. Jason Calvi joining us live from inside Wisconsin State Fair Park. Jason. Well, Ted, the state's preferred plan would expand this interstate from six lanes currently to eight across. And those plans are in this open house format in the room behind me. But down this corridor, people are now, right now, sharing their thoughts. You can share your thoughts on this proposal. Wisconsin's Department of Transportation shows what a new I-94 East-West could look like. Four lanes on each side. The expansion would start right here at 70th Street. Goes past American Family Field and ends here at 16th Street near Marquette University. Expanding to eight lanes would not solve our transportation problem. To solve our transportation problem requires us to better our public transit uh, system. Some are trying to put the brakes on the expansion. They speak in the free speech zone outside a DOT public hearing. Expansion will increase noise pollution, air pollution, water pollution, and racial and transit inequities at the expense of the poorer minority communities here in Milwaukee. They can also speak inside, sharing their ideas with the state. We continue to listen to the, to the public. Um, our, our analysis shows that the eight lane is the, the alternative with the lowest, uh, lowest predicted crash rate. This expansion stalled under Governor Scott Walker. Governor Tony Evers picked it back up. His administration announced their preference for the eight-lane expansion days after his 2022 re-election. And what do you say to those Democrats who may be di disappointed in you uh, in going forward with this expansion program? Well, they shouldn't be disappointed that we're having public public hearings to hear from them. So that it, this is their opportunity to... Uh, uh, make a case and to uh, provide alternatives. The state says their preferred plan will improve safety, replace aging infrastructure, and reduce congestion. But now it's your time to say what you think. And you can see many more years in the process before construction can, is completed. Right now we're in the public hearing phase. There's one more chance for you to share your thoughts at a public hearing. That one's going to be on Wednesday at Marquette University, Marquette University High School, rather. And you can share your thoughts. You can find out how to share your thoughts on our website, fox6now.com. For now, we're live at Safe Air Park. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. If you had to put a percentage on it, how many there are for and how many are against? Can you just give a number, you think? Well, we have we spoke with people beforehand. They were gathering outside. There's actually a free speech zone outside of here, and many of them were opposed to this. We've seen Milwaukee elected officials also opposed to the expansion project. They're pushing for that fix at six proposal, which would keep the uh, six lane format for the highway, but then upgrade it, make it more safe uh, for the community. So we're still waiting to hear back from what the percentage is for and against. It's so early in the day to, to say exactly where people stand on that particular issue, but we'll have more updates later tonight. It's time to speak up. All right, Jason, thank you.